Brianna, what was how much was it credit to the say, the North Dakota defense that you guys couldn't really get didn't seem like you guys could get a lot of rhythm in the first two periods on offense? Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I had Jocelyn Lambert following me around the ice the entire game, but um, you know, yeah, they did a good job. The goalie, you know, stopped the shots that she faced, but um, you know, I didn't think we really got rolling until the second period. But um, you know, it is what it is now. But I mean, hopefully, we get another uh, chance at it. But who knows? Yeah, he hit a couple chances. I think a partial break about eight minutes into the game, and then the third period, shorthanded, you came down the right wing. Did you get what you wanted out of those looks, or would you have liked to have done a little more of them? I mean, I would have liked to put them in the net, but um, no. I mean, I, I first one, the puck was bouncing a little bit, but uh, second one, I just you know cut cut it too fine. Didn't find the spot that I wanted to, a little blocker. But um, yeah, I just I guess I wanted to put them in the net. That's what I wanted to get out of them. And what was it like with the energy? Uh, any of you? Uh, it seemed like North Dakota came out with their backs against the wall, and he wanted to win the game. Do you think they came out a little faster than you guys? Um, I mean, when any team starts off the power play, that's going to give them momentum right away. So um, us trying to kill a penalty in the first minute or so into the game that didn't help us. But um, I think we, you know, we came out the, um, the second period with a little bit more energy and a little more hop in our step, which um, I think um, impacted the game a little bit better. Any other questions from the ladies? And Coach, yes. uh, how hard was it for your team to get offensively any rhythm or momentum with people constantly in the penalty box at the beginning of, in the, beginning of the periods and then in the third period? Well, that's one of the things we talked about, uh, you know, prior to the game was, uh, you know, playing with some discipline and, and making sure, you, uh, you know, we stay out of the box. Uh, we didn't do a very good job in certain points of the game, and you know, if we, if we had maybe a couple shifts in a row where we created some things, and then you take a penalty, it just uh, takes the rhythm out. And, you know, really started with uh, the first shift of the game, and so you don't know how tight the referees are going to call it, so you got to play accordingly. But uh, you know, again, if you had to do it over again, we need to do a better job in that area. Uh, and this is for any three of you. How frustrating is it uh, right now being on the fringe? Um, that you may miss out on the NCAA tournament despite clearly being one of the top eight teams in the country? Well, that's not a good feeling. I mean, obviously things are out of our control right now uh, after tonight's game. And, uh, you know, you might need some help. Uh, and as Brianna mentioned, you'd like another crack at it because obviously, uh, you know, being in the WCHA, we feel our league's pretty strong. And uh, it'll be unfortunate if, uh, you know, only two teams end up going on to the tournament. Uh, but. You know, part of Minnesota going undefeated hurts other teams within our league, and so uh, they had a special season. And uh, you know, hats off to them. But uh, you know, if you look for the depth that you want as far as going to the big dance, uh, you know, that hurt the other teams within our league. Coach, you gave up two goals tonight, but you also killed off power plays. How or power plays? How did you feel your defense? We played well. I mean, uh, you know, they were trapping us and doing a very good job, especially in the second period uh, within the neutral zone, making it difficult for us to get any type of offensive pressure. Uh, you know, we talk about managing the puck, uh, you know, and, you know, good chunks of that period, especially the first 10 minutes before I took a timeout. Uh, you know, we, were, we weren't doing a good job, so the end result is we're playing on our end. But, you know, we did a great job of killing penalties. They've got a wonderful power play. Uh, they create opportunities on it. Got some good personnel that can do that, uh, but uh, again, you're looking for something to happen to, to get you excited. And uh, you know, it, it took us a while, you know, and four minutes to go or so that you know we finally got a goal, uh, but then sort of neglected that energy with taking a penalty with two and a half minutes to go to you know to make it a little bit more challenging to do what you want to do as far as tying up the game. But uh, you know, it comes down to you know it was a broken face-off play, puck deflected off one of our players' sticks, and found a way to go in the net. That's basically the difference in the game. But uh, you know, they've scored goals, uh, especially in bunches, the last four or five weekends. And I thought overall, uh, you know, we did a good job of uh, neglecting that. And Erica, what did you see leading up to your goal? It almost looked like you didn't even see it going there. <laughs> I didn't even know it was in until mm -hmm. I looked at my teammate Lauren Unser. But it was a great setup by her. She took the puck to the net and saw me back door and gave a nice little back pass, and I was able to put it in. It's just too bad it happened that late in the game. Erica, for you, 
being a freshman for all the freshmen, how difficult do you think it was coming into such a, a game of such importance? Did you feel like it was kind of hard to get your feet under you to start off the game, or did you feel like you were where you wanted to be? I think we had our teammates to support us and keep us going and everything, and we were ready to play. And um, it's just sad that the seniors won't be with us next year and that they're moving on. Hang on to the players. Uh, how long, uh, for you, Brandon, if you know, this unfortunately is your last game, how long is this type of loss going to stay for? Well, this would be my last game as a Badger. So it's something I think I'll never forget if, if it um, ends up being my last game. But, um, you know, I have world championships coming up. I have camp coming up. So, um, you know, it's something I'll remember. But hopefully I can uh, put it in the back of my mind and not think about it again until, um, you know, I step on the ice again. But I don't think... Um, I'm going to let it, you know, kill me for too long.